The first of the handicaps is the Ascot handicap. It's a two and a half mile up. It's naught to eighty, and it's got four runners. Green Glade Adam Old, Athena Matt Cooper, and then Captain Paddy and Confidant Footsy for Alex Cherry. I'm guessing the reason he's only got four runners is because most people weren't qualified to run it. They're installed and ready to go. Not just because of it being naught to eighty, but because of the handicap bandings. And you can only run two furlongs either side of your best run, which means the only way you could get in this is if your best run was over two mile two furlongs. Um, and I think we've already had three two mile two furlong races all season, if that. So, how on earth are you supposed to qualify for this? Goodness only knows. And um, it's Confidant Footsie in the lead from Captain Paddy in second, and Green Glade is third, and Athena is fourth. Got to do something about the handicap banding, both on the flat and on the jumps, because it's excluding too many horses from races that they should be able to run in. You don't want to do it with the shorter races and have six or seven furlong horses running in mile and a quarter races. Then that's that's up to you. Uh, I think for these longer distance races, especially the two miles, it's got to be a cutoff point. Sixteen furlongs has got to be the cutoff, I think, and then anything above that you, you can you can race. Because I think we've got a two mile six going up later in the week. I'm not sure whether that is a handicap or not. That might not be a handicap, so it might not affect that one. But I'm pretty sure there's a handicap at Goodwood as well, which is over even further than this. And there'll likely be these four again, or except for the winner, of course, because the winner will be probably rated over 80 by then. <laughs> so I don't know. It's maybe worth a look at for SO8. We can trust each other not to cheat, but I mean. Who would want to win? Why would you do it? Why would you want to do that anyway? It constantly run over the wrong trip just to get a decent handicap to win one race. For example, I think why the titles have to be decided on numerical wins rather than prize money, because that, I'm guessing, is what used to be the problem when they got those really big, rich handicaps. People are trying to sneak into them. But anyway, back to this race. It's Confidant Foxy in the lead. It's just as big a problem over the flat with the races over three miles as well. And a lot of things need changing before SO8. And we need to be talking about them now rather than wait until the end of the season. And we've already discussed national flat races a little bit, but I'm going to throw up there now. Let's talk about handicap bandings as well and cutting them off at two miles on the flat and three miles on the jumps. Confidant Footsie's in the lead. Athena is second. Green Glade is third. And Captain Paddy the Grey is fourth on the outside. The jockey on the leader or a look round to see where the rest of them are. Confidant Foxy in the lead. Or Athena in second. And then Green Glade and then Captain Paddy at the back. They've got six furlongs to go. And they're reasonably tightly grouped. Alex Cherry top and tail in the field. Athena and Green Glade in between. Potentially get a decent finish out of this at the moment. Four furlongs to go, and they're all pretty closely grouped. Although the leader is starting to creep away from them, he's already gone five lengths clear now. He's the bottom right as well. And confident Fossey is five clear of the top weight, Green Glade in second. Then Athena is in third, and Captain Paddy back in fourth. As we come to the two furlong, where it looks to me as though the top weight is going to sweep past the bottom weight here, and the best horse in the race is probably going to win. And he's gone past him there, only by a head. We can keep this up, he should race towards the line and win. It's going to be a very easy one, I think, for Green Glad. It's not much of, a, much of a race, really. Towards the line, Green Glade takes it from Confidant Foxy second, Athena third, and Captain Paddy 
is four, sir. Adam Old returning after a season or two away. This is over Royal Ascot winner, so that's good. Spread the wins around, but it would have been nice to see a few more get into that race. So Green Glad wins it for Adam Old, the top weight, and look at that, he was rated 75. The other three horses in it were rated 30, 44, and 30. So, I mean, that, that just says it all, doesn't it, really? I mean, something's got to be done about these long-distance races.